Most poor people in the world are farmers, most hungry people in the world are farmers, and farmers produce basically all of our food, so it makes a ton of sense to work with farmers, to work out how we can improve their livelihoods, improve food security, and um, improve environmental sustainability for our world. Whether or not we realise that we are all part of that global food production system, so I think um, international agricultural research is really important for making sure that we produce that food in a way that's really sustainable, that has leads to really efficient production practices in a whole range of different farming contexts around the world and ultimately ends up with high quality food uh, that's affordable for people all around the world. And there's also a lot of the population in the world that depends on agriculture as a livelihood. So really working to improve agriculture around the world has a lot of really interesting research questions to it and working to understand these things better can really make a huge difference to a lot of people's lives. The reason Asia is, has had this incredible boom in, 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 it, in its economics, in its economic growth, is primarily because it has had stable food supplies for generations now, since the 1960s. There hasn't been a famine in Asia since the 1960s, and that was because of the Green Revolution. The Green Revolution was international agricultural development. International agricultural research is a long-term investment in not just the future of the world's uh, food supply and global food security, but also because agriculture is the biggest user of fresh water, uh, one of the biggest emitters of greenhouse gases, the dominant course of of uh, changing land use and particularly deforestation and draining of peatlands and wetlands. Uh, it's absolutely fundamental that we get agriculture right. We should be a country that gives a lot. Yeah, and I think international agricultural research, Australians are really recognised globally for their, their capacity in that area. And I think we should really strive to continue to hold Australia at the very highest levels of international agricultural research. The developing world isn't people who aren't trying. The developing pe world is actually people who are doing amazing things with almost no resources. They are incredibly important to the, to the future of the world. They feed the vast majority of the people in their countries and they feed a large proportion of the world's population. Without those smallholder farmers, the world would be in a food crisis right now. And ensuring that they are able to continue to grow the food into the future is critical and international agricultural research has to be there to help them do that.